Welcome to Storm Riders Wheels with your host, Master Lou. Hey guys, it's Lou with Storm Riders Wheels, and today I have some awesome information to share with you. Yes, today we're going to be talking about how to find the Hot Wheels 50th Anniversary Black and Gold Collection. I know that a lot of people are looking for this collection in big stores like Walmart, Toys R Us, and Target, but you're not going to find them there. Hot Wheels have been kind of sneaky with this collection. I've already found my collection, including the chase car, and I'm going to tell you how to find yours too. This is a real sweet collection. Just look at this chase car. So let's take a close look at each one of them. First up, one out of six is the Bone Shaker. This is the, one of the cars that really excited me in this collection. The Bone Shaker is my single most favorite car out of all of the Hot Wheels castings and they just made it look really sweet in this collection not only the engine and the exhaust pipes are chrome gold in this car but it's gold chrome from the inside and out it's just an amazing car okay so let's go on and get on to the next one next up two out of six in this collection another car that made me very excited for this collection is the twin mill as you can see the two engines on this car are fully gold and chrome and the window on this car is yellow or gold the rims on this car are also gold and chrome and the paint job on this car is matte black so it's going to move on to the next car next up is roger dodger this is an awesome casting in 2017 they used this car for the valentines in the hw holiday series it has a big engine sticking out the front, golden chrome, and the exhaust pipes sticking out the side in golden chrome. The rims on this car are also golden chrome. The interior is golden chrome, and this car is just golden chrome inside and out. Okay, so it's going to move on. Next up is the 1968 Dodge Dart. This is an awesome casting. I love this car. I forgot to mention all the other ones, but it has the 50th anniversary logo on the side. So it's going to move on. Next up is the 1964 Impala. All these cars also have the blue stripes on the side and the yellow stripes or gold stripes on the side. And as you may have noticed, all these cars basically have the same design. So it's going to move on. Next up is the 65 Ford Ranchero. It has the cover on the back and the gold engine sticking out of the front right here and the gold interior. It has a matte black finish with the stripes on the sides and golden front and back. This is a pretty sweet casting, so it's going to move on. Okay, so before I turn this car around, I want to give a big shout out to Drifter D. I just sent him some fan mail the other day, and he did an unboxing of it today. It was a huge box, and I think you're going to like some of the cars I sent him, and I know you're going to love his channel. So let's go ahead and turn this car around. This is the 1967 Camaro. And as you can see, the whole body is golden chrome. And I'll tell you why. This car is the chase car of this series. As you can see in the top corner, there is no number. And on the back, you can see that there is no 67 Camaro. This car is very hard to find, kind of like gold. And that's how I think of it being golden chrome. So that's pretty cool. This also has the 50th logo on the side. And up here on the card, as you may be able to tell on the other cars, the 50th anniversary logo on the other cars is gold, and on this one it's a matte black. And the other cars, the interior is golden chrome, and this one is matte black too. On the bottom of this is matte black, so it's basically just the opposite of the other cars with the model. I love this car, but I really love this collection. I highly recommend going out and finding this collection for yourself. Okay, so you have to think creatively. In my area, it's at Family Dollar, but 
in your area might not have Family Dollar, so think Family Dollar or any dollar store and pharmacies. That's a big place that people are finding them. And possibly grocery stores. At Family Dollar where I live, they weren't on the normal pegs with the other Hot Wheels. They were like in the end caps or down by other sections. So you're going to have to be creative when you're looking for this collection. Okay, so now you know where you need to go to find this collection. And don't forget to drop down to the comments below and tell me when you found your collection. Or if you haven't found it yet, when you do find your collection. And good luck from Storm Rider's Wheels. And see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching Storm Rider's Wheels. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.